It is bushy and covered in hay. It isn't a regular monument. This is the final resting place of Uganda's first Prime Minister, Apollo Milton Obote. As Uganda marks its 58th year of independence, his grave remains in the mark of the country's development as a symbol of shame. This morning, Joyce Adoko, the older sister-in-law of Dr. Milton Obote, embarked on cleaning the grave, noting that she has been struggling to maintain the graveyard. She was appointed to maintain the grave by the Oima clan in 2006, but ideally the grave falls squarely in the realm of national monuments. Sam Nam, the manager of the Milton Obote graveyard, says the maintenance being carried out on the graveyard is in preparation of the Independence Day since many people flock the area as tourists. You are seeing the company is clean and um, uh, as we are waiting for to celebrate our independence tomorrow um, and we are very happy. Nam adds that as the caretakers they face a number of challenges. We don't have uh, uh, water here, and uh, you see, we have a whole uh, water here, and it's not working well. Oh, people, when he come, there's a big man from Uganda, like tomorrow is independence. When people come and he see that grave is not uh, clean, or does a clan leader of Oyima clan, uh, uh, we are not happy about uh, those people from Oyima clan. Dr. Apollo Milton Obote led Uganda to independence in 1962 from British colonial administration. Following the nation's independence, he served as Prime Minister of Uganda from 1962 to 1966 and President of Uganda from 1966 to 1971 and from 1980 to 1985. He also had the biggest post-independence party, UPC. Olivia Komgisha, NTV 